Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join Associate Pastor Sean Gasper as he brings us today's message. All right, good morning, church. Welcome to this Friday morning. Nice, warm, I'm sure, Friday morning this July. So one thing, I just wanted to give a couple announcements real quick before we get started. Uh, Miss Shirley wanted me to just reach out to the church and just let you guys know that the Reed Springs School District is in need of backpacks. And so we're trying to gather backpacks. This will um, need to be turned in by August 2nd. And they've got, I know, a, a um, trash can with a note on it right out in front of the office, uh, just a holding can for these these backpacks. The readiness fair will begin August 7th at the, the Reed Spring School, and this is for all age groups. So if you have any questions, just get a hold of the, the church office or get a hold of Miss Shirley, and she can give you more information. I know there will be stuff probably coming out on your email, church email, so just keep your um, eyes open for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with, with this morning devotion. I hope all of you have had a, a wonderful week. Um, I know with each day comes certain challenges, and that's kind of what I wanted to, to, to talk about today. I know last week I had talked about the race um, in my devotion and um, kind of looked at just how each and every one of us are in a race, how we prepare our mind and our heart for that race. Today, I just want to look at how we prepare our day. I'm an early morning person. I love waking up early around 4 o'clock in the morning before the sun comes up, sit down with my cup of coffee, go outside, and, and just listen. Listen to all you know the, the wildlife as it as the sun's getting ready to come up, just start to come to life. Um, I love that time of reflection, being able to, before the, the noise of the day, being able to just listen to what the Holy Spirit would have for me. And also taking that, that time without distraction, being able to focus on, on God's Word. So that, that is, since I've been saved, it's been all, always a special time for me. Early in the morning, just rising up, getting into God's Word, spending time in prayer, and just reflecting on what that, that day could possibly bring. Well, in uh, my devotion, I'm going to be doing devotions for the, probably the next month or so out of a Max Lucado devotional I found uh, on grace. Since Pastor just preached on grace, I, I thought that would be just a, a prime thing just to, to be hitting on. And as I was looking through this devotion, I saw this, this little thing that he had written, and it's called Each Day. So I just wanted to kind of read this, and it really just hit on, kind of like I talked about, the way that we start each day. He says that it's quiet, it's early, my coffee is hot, the sky is still black, the world is still asleep, the day is, is coming. In a few moments, the day will arrive. It will roar down the track like the rising of the sun. The stillness of the dawn will be exchanged for the noise of the day. The calm of the solitude will be replaced by the pounding pace of the human race. The refuge of the early morning will be invaded by decisions to be made and deadlines to be met. For the next 12 hours, I will be exposed to the day's demands. It's now that I must make a choice. And because of Calvary, I'm free to choose. And I choose, I choose love. No occasion justifies hatred. No injustice warrants bitterness. I choose love. Today I will love God and what God loves. I will also choose this day, I will choose joy. I will invite my good, my God, to be the God of circumstance. I will refuse the temptation to be cynical, the tool of, of the lazy thinker. I will refuse to see people as anything less than human beings created by God. 
I will refuse to see any problem as anything less than an opportunity to see God. I will also choose this day to choose peace. I will, for, I will live forgiven. And I will forgive so that I may live. I will also choose this day patience. I will overlook the inconveniences of the world instead of cursing the one who takes my place. I will invite him to do so. Rather than complain that the wait is too long, I will thank God for a moment to pray. Instead of clenching my fist at a new assignment, I will face it with joy and courage. I will choose this day to be kind. I will be kind to the poor, for they are alone. I will be kind to the rich, for they are afraid. And I will be kind to the unkind, for such is how God treated me. I will also choose this day goodness. I will go without a dollar before I take a dishonest one. I will confess before I accuse, and I will choose goodness. Also this day I will choose faithfulness. Today I will be my promise. My debtors uh, will not regret their trust. My associates will not question my word. My wife will not question my love for her. And my children will never fear that their father will not come home. I will also choose this day gentleness. Nothing is won by force. I choose to be gentle. If I raise my voice, may it only be in praise. If I clench my fist, may it be a time of prayer. And if I make a demand, may it only be of myself. Lastly, I choose this day self-control. I am a spiritual being. After this body is dead, my spirit will soar. I will refuse to let what will rot rule the eternal. I choose self-control. I will be drunk only on joy, and I will be impassioned only by my faith. I will be influenced only by God, and I will be taught only by Christ. I choose self-control. Love, joy, peace. Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. To these I commit my day. If I succeed, I will give thanks. If I fail, I will seek His grace. And then, when this day is done, I will place my head on my pillow and rest. You know, what a powerful devotion that was that Max Lucado wrote. Going off of the, the fruits of the Spirit. Every one of us who are believers are gifted with those fruits. God gave us those things so that we can apply them to our lives, that we could use the power of the Holy Spirit to bring those things to life. So I encourage you today, in light of the love of Christ and through the gift of the Holy Spirit, to enact those those gifts to use those things to impact those around us to allow those things to prepare I'm sorry prepare us for what is to come like I said in preparation for a race most races start early in the morning and before that race would begin what would you do you stretch you start getting your mind right. You start focusing on the course. You start focusing on the race. You know, all those things that you've done in training are in preparation for what's to come. But with the reality of the, of the day, with the reality of the race, you don't know exactly what is going to be thrown at you. So all you can do is prepare. And all you can do is run that race with faith and endurance. And I love what Paul says, just in closing at the end of that chapter on the, on the uh, spiritual um, gifts that he's given each, each and every one of us. He says that 
If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another um, and envying one another. So it's important that, listen, in our race, as we live our lives, as we go day to day, that we live by the Spirit. And we allow that, that Spirit to just run alongside us. It says to keep in, in step with the Spirit. Remember that gentleman I talked about that as I was hitting that wall and I was, uh, you know, feeling like I just can't go on and I just wanted to give up and throw in the towel. You know, even though I, I've trained hard and worked hard, you know, so many, many of us, we, we go through life and we're just like, man, I just can't take anymore. I can't go on. I, I can't endure anymore. Why, God? When, when is this going to be over? And God's telling you, look, I'm with you. I haven't left you alone. Remember, I've given you a gift in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with you. Allow Him to run alongside you. Stay in stride with Him and continue to run the race. Because there will be a day. There will be a day when you will cross that finish line. And I know like Miss Shirley talked about on Monday, it'll be on that day, which would be unlike any other day that we've ever experienced. Would I love, that I would love to hear from my Heavenly Father, good job, my good and faithful servant. So what will you choose this day? God has given us several things that we can, we can rest on and lean on. So let me pray, and uh, I just hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day. Dear Heavenly Father, I, I thank you um, for these gifts, these gifts that you've given us in the Holy Spirit. And Father, I just pray, Lord, that we would, we would reflect on these things on, on a constant basis. That we'd realize that they are, are open and available to each and, every one of them, each and every one of us. That, Father God, it is through you that we have the power to endure. That it is through you that these gifts are enacted. That these gifts... Um, come into play, that they are, are truly proven real. And I pray, Father God, that, that it is through these gifts, Lord, that we would look at opportunities this day to impact our community, to impact our families, to impact, impact our, our place of work. I know, Father God, there are so many people out there that are, are troubled and are um, in a deep state of worry. And I know that's a, a place that Satan wants us to be. He wants us to be fearful. He wants us to be doubtful. Um, he wants us to be separated and not united. Help us, Father God, to be a united front, to stand firm on the, on the foundations of your word, to seek truth, to reveal truth. And God, I praise you and give you honor, praise, and glory, for only you are worthy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Church, again, I just hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. It was so good to share this morning with you. Uh, again, choose to put these gifts of the Holy Spirit into play, the fruits of the Spirit. God wants you to, to impact um, the world around you. So do so in the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, church. I love you. Have a great day. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.